Hey everybody, uh, it's just me again, and today I'm going to talk to you for a few minutes about some conditional probability. So what I have is I have obviously a collection of items here, and what I want to find out is what is the probability that what I draw is red given that it was a heart. What we know is that this line, uh, vertical line here, in probability is always red as a given. The other thing that I know is that whatever happens behind that fence or behind the wall, behind the line, is what happened first. So this is what happened first. Now I want to know what's the probability that this happens. So the other thing that I know is that conditional probability always works as the probability of red given a heart is always found as the probability of red and a heart divided by the probability of a heart. Because what goes behind the fence goes on the bottom down here. So first I want to, to show you what we're talking about in terms of this given probability because remember this is what occurred first so I closed my eyes and pointed at my screen and I want to see first of all what was the probability that I had a heart well I had one two three four five six seven eight nine hearts out of a total of ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen total. So if all I wanted to know was what's the probability of drawing a heart, it would be this 9 divided by 14, or roughly about 64%. Well, what if I wanted to know the probability that I drew something red? Well, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 red items, so the probability of red is simply going to be 4 over 14, which is roughly 28%. But what this question is asking me is, what's the probability that I got red given that I drew a heart? So what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to say it's the probability of both. So it's the probability that I got red and a heart. Well, that was one, two, three, four. Right? So four total, because that's what I wanted, red hearts, given that I had drawn a heart, which means I didn't get any of these clubs. So it meant that I only drew a heart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four out of nine, or roughly 44%. Because I knew that this has already occurred. I drew once, and I got one, I got a heart. Well, that meant that my sample space now looks like this because I knew, given that I had drawn one of these hearts, this is my nine, what's the probability that, one, that it was red? That meant I had to get one of these four out of the nine from which I had already drawn, which made my probability 44%. Remember, a given, a given because something has already happened, a given always reduces the ones from which I have to choose. So a given will always reduce your sample size. And what you notice is that my sample size went from a 14 down to a 9 because I didn't want or didn't care about any of those clubs. 
I know this was quick, but I hope it helped.